Hello guys, this is Afro Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today we're gonna love and look at Azura Cast, Azura Server. So you can actually open your own radio station online. Don't forget to like a subscribe. Don't forget to like share. Don't forget to just share the videos if you can. That will help me a lot. So azuracast.com, this is where you wanna go. All the information in the description below. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install Azura Cast, a free and open source self-hosted web radio management suite. So follow along and I'm going to show you how to install it on Debian. You can also install this app on Linode, DigitalOcean, Volter, and of course, like we do, self-hosted. And here are all the information on how to get started. I'm going to use a Proxmox and I already created a container. If you haven't, you can do, you, you can actually follow on another tutorials on how to install, for example, Ubuntu or Debian on Proxmox on my channel. But this is all I done and everything is ready for me to use and install Azuracast. The Azuracast is going to be installed on Docker. Everything will be automatically done in one installation as I'm going to show you. So very simple. You can install it on multiple platforms, Windows, Raspberry Pi, Synology, NAS, you know, you name it. So this is the information we need. This is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you as well on how to do it line by line. Sudo su just in case you have no root access to the actual VM or CT or container. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use root. So it shouldn't be any problems. I'm going to the console and I'm going to start to log in and start the process of the installation. Right, so the login is root for me and I'm going to add the password and I'm going to log in. Here we go, as you can see here, we got the Debian installed. We got Debian 11 in this particular case, as you can see on top there. When you see Azura Cast, it's because I have automatically named the actual container Azura Cast. That's why it's, it's there as well, right? Not because it's an Azura Cast application that I actually downloaded myself. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a folder Azura Cast in the folder VAR. You see MKDR. So all I'm going to do is just copy and paste really. Before you do that, make sure I already done it. But before you do that, make sure you update the Debian. All right. In this case, I'm not going to use sudo because it's already root. I'm going to say apt dash get update. And you can do actually an upgrade as well if it needs to. All right. Like so. And if it is anything to you know, to install, just press Y and the installation will go through there. Sometimes it takes longer. It depends, you know, what kind of a version you have, how long has it not been done it before. So I'm going to go through the actual upgrade here and I'll see you in a snap. Here we go. The actual upgrade was done very fast. As you can see, app APT updates to make sure everything's fine. Now, the first thing I'm going to do again, I'm going to create that folder that I didn't create earlier on as I update the system, copy and paste, and I'm going to press enter and that will take care of the creation of the actual folder. This is where we're going to install. In that case, actually, that's where we're going to actually download the actual file from the uh, from the GitHub, right? Now, once the that's been done, we're going to get inside using CD. Let's do this now. What I'm going to do now, we're going to make space for another window here so you can actually see it what we're doing. There we go. I know it's a little bit smaller there, but it should be all right. Now, this is another problem here. Now, I'm going to copy the this line here. I have got curl installed. Now, I could have done it beforehand, but if I did that and you had that kind of problem, perhaps. So I decided what to do is to actually show you what to do just in case you got the same problem, all right, that you have got curl installed. And as you can see, curl command not found. So the next thing to do is to install curl. Now in Debian, all you got to do is type apt install and logically what you want to install. In this case, again, I put sudo there, but again, you don't need sudo if you are with root, all right? In fact, my mistake there, let's remove that. We don't need that. And there we go, installing the curl, press Y, and the installation has been done. Now we're going to do it exactly the same with curl. And now you can see there is no error. Now we're going to change the permission of the file that's been downloaded. In this case, it will be docker.sh. And then we're going to install it. I'm going to copy this line, dash, 
sorry, dot dash docker dot sh space install. Now there are a few questions going to ask. And to be honest, usually I go with whatever is the default. In this case, it would be Y for the first one, install Docker. Again, you have to because there is no Docker on this newly VM or container. It depends where you're going to install your Azure cast. And we wait until the installation is done. Now I'm looking around there. There are you know things you can do there now let's go through this one now it should be this that's it really at the end of the day those are the lines you got to use there is a better way to do it but this is the easiest way so as you know on my channel i always go to you you know show the easy way rather than the more complex way sometimes even if it's not the right way i'd rather show you the easy way that the complex one so all we got to do now we got to wait until all the installations done there will be out of questions being asked and i usually go with the default as you will see now through going the actual installation as well. I, the one on top was yes, and we got fewer that I use no as well. For the SSL, again, as well, I'm not going to use yes. But if you, go, you want, you can do it. If you use Cloudflare, choose no. In this case, Y as well, again, is yes. In this case, I'm going to choose N as no. I'm going to uh, stick with the actual uh, stable release. So I'm going to see it with the rolling release rather than the stable release. But again, if you want the stable release, make sure you press Y, all right? But I rather go with the actual default. Now the installation of Docker is started. Now here you can actually choose which language you want. I'm going to press enter because it's the actual default. If it's not, just type whatever applies to you. For example, if you want uh, Spanish, it will be ES underscore ES. Don't forget to put the uppercase and the lowercase as it is there now customize uh, ports used for Zuracast no and I'm not going to customize it so I'm going to leave it as it is all those ports there all right as you can see now on screen set up let's encrypt I'm gonna say no if you use if you're going to use for example uh, as I do uh, Cloudflare you want to choose no there all right custom plugin as well as no and that said we're going through the rest of the installation all right so the actual installation is being done now we're going to type IP space ADDR so I know the IP of the server 192.168.1207 again it's dot 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 logically and this is the actual setup the beginning of the setup so you need to do for the first time add your email and the password that will be your admin login details all right so i'm going to put down as info at open source channel dot uk and i'm going to put my password and i'm going to create the account i'm going to say never here not now now here you can start to put your profile your information about the radio station again if you run a radio station you want to run for example podcast you can do it everything from you know in the actual admin what you want to do like i do just put some details here Again, you can go in the settings later on in the accounts and change as you wish. It's not because you put it here, you're, you know, you're bound to that information. You can change it later on, all right? Yeah, let's put podcast station. It's up to whatever you want to do. You put a description there, genre, we're going to say podcast. Now, this is not the actual IP. Uh, it actually wants an actual uh, domain name. So don't forget to put also HTTP for example and if you use logically cloudflare make sure it's https now i didn't put that in the beginning but there we go and this is what you need there now you can put an ip as you can see it will give you error so make sure you put a domain name there right for the time zone choose your time zone for me it will be london or europe london that's going to be the default uh how uh, hard url i'm going to leave it empty is going to be the default or the standard placeholder there Again, numbers of visible recent songs, I'm going to leave it at 5. Again, you can change that uh, later on if you want to. And you can also enable the on-demand streaming. Again, you can do this after, just in case you don't want to do it here. All right? And you can enable as well the download if you want to. Once we are happy with all the information, you just create and continue. As you can see, that's been saved. Now we got the uh, site-based URL. This is the external IP address or qualified domain name. All right, so I'm going to put my IP as you can see on top there. You can prefer the browser URL if available and the Azure Cast instant instance name. All right, and I'm going to put just OSC UK. Now this is the actual playback history. How many days you want to do it? You can do it differently. It depends how much space you have. That's up to you. And here we go. We are actually done it. Everything's ready and ready to go. And as you can see, we are already in the dashboard. You can get the dashboard from the three dots on top. 
here is the actual system administration again from here you can go back to the previous you know setup page and you can change anything you want to here you can create stations if you know you can have more than one station this is the one i just created through the installation as well all right how you can actually as i said you can actually add more stations you can go to my account you can change your url you can create the new profiles and you can actually enable two-factor authentication and also you can create api keys as well if you need to let's go back to the dashboard you can switch theme and you can go to black if you want to that's pretty good it, it depends what you like you know you can have a black or white it's up to you they got two different style now this says stream offline you can actually uh, you know uh, enable that if you want to you can manage as you can see here now we just pressed on manage the broadcasting service is not running it's a high ice cast uh, it's also compatible with the shoutcast as well so again as you can see you got everything here about the actual radio station you can change the profile you can edit the profile it's up to you now let's open this one you might get an error because it's not been uh, enabled yet as you can see here so radio mp3 will not work unless we go to the uh what you call it to enable the actual radio station all right so you make make sure you enable it first because it's not running at all that's why it's not reachable the ip here you got the administration the source and the relay uh, username and password you can copy if you need to this is for the ice cast by the way and you also got auto dj service now i am the one you know i'm not the best on these things it's easy for me to you know install this kind of application but i'm not in radio stations or ice cast or sh shoutcast really so you know I, my point of view is on the actual open source and how to install it really rather than for example on how to make it work you know i'm kind of a engineer really so what i'm going to do now i'm going to upload some music files that i have downloaded from youtube so those are copyright free and once that's been done as you can see here we're going to enable the actual radio oh make sure first is all the songs are inside a playlist otherwise it would not work a station uh, start the station now so we can do that there we go and as you can see station has no playlist so what we're going to do now we're going to highlight all of them okay let's change that 10 to uh, all of it and let's do that again and let's create a playlist and i'm going to put it in a default playlist i'm not going to add a new playlist but it's up to you if you want a new playlist all right and as you can see that playlist has been selected now we go through the same process again we go to the profile or any other tabs as soon as i click it's going to ask me if i want to start the radio station and as you can see that has been done and it's ready to go really now if you go back to the actual uh, url that you see there before for example, the public page, as you can see here, we actually got, we actually got, guys, the station working. And as you can hear it, everything worked perfectly well. So I hope my voice was okay, but yes, the radio station is working perfectly well. Here you can actually manage your files, your music files, your uh, artwork, everything can be done inside this tab, right? Here we got the on-demand media a session and again you can do podcasts you can do anything you want here you can actually upload your files and everything and you can create as shown before this is the default playlist you can add as many playlists you actually want it is good for this one if you run podcasts for example it is an, an amazing tools for you know to integrate and i'm sure you can actually integrate with broad, uh, wordpress as well if you want to all right here you go categories you can create the new categories is up to you as you really want to do it so as you can see it's so easy to install this application on any vm or containers running debian uh, i hope you enjoyed anyway guys how you know about this tutorial and i hope to see you next time here you can see for example icecast client server all the information you can find here let me know if you want to know a little bit more i can actually go through a little bit deeper learn a little bit more and i'll come back to you with a new tutorials on actually how to set up after the installation so anyway guys thanks so much for joining me today for these tutorials i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did making it and i'll see you next time